This is the way nightmares begin. A Ditchard Orkins production video presentation documentary piece. Many alternative characters in the world seem to have some quite peculiar ideas. After this, there is no turning back. Generally speaking, when, when I'm going to be visited by the ETs, I'll always wake up beforehand and, uh, and I'll know. It's just a telepathic thing. That's when we first heard that they had come. That's when we should have prepared ourselves for any eventuality. On the presence of aliens, extraterrestrials. What they did is when they came through into this galaxy, they went through a portal that had them lose all their powers. They lost their powers as they came through that portal. And when their anger rose to meet their desire for control, they decided to take over the Earth. They began to once again create a complex like the one they built on Mars long ago. It's universal law that we have free will and choice. They will be removed from the planet and we will be able to live how we want to live. And so they live in a delusional view of the world. Some people, including this person, don't seem to recognize reality from fiction. Without all this um, tyrants and authoritarian influence, finally, we'll get our chance to make heaven on earth. And that's really exciting. Um, they will lose. Uh, I mean, in talking with my guides, again, which has been a while, um, they were very excited. And um, even hearing um, other people's guides, and they're just, they said that we've turned a curve, that enough people had awakened um, in those crucial points that we have ensured our victory. It's science. Now this person may come across as an absolute loony, but of course, at one point, she used to be a skeptic. I managed to reach a bunch of skeptics and uh, bring them back into their spirituality. How the mighty have fallen. Even though it doesn't seem like it, you know, it seems like it's getting worse, all this BS that they're constantly trying to force on us, and it's going to look like they've won for a little bit, but they are definitely going to be removed from the planet. Um, that's been unanimously. I mean, it wasn't even that we were saved per se, it was that we did it, collectively. So, you should all be proud of yourselves. No, I say we are grand, aren't we? Remember when you hear the words of such clearly uninformed individuals, you have to wonder what level of insanity they're actually dealing with. Ah, she's so mad. Oh, uh. Yeah, no, Incredible. It wasn't until I started astral projecting that I started to loosen a lot of the shackles on my mind. I think they recognize on some level that they are in fact deluded, but they refuse to do anything about it. Because you can get a lot of beneficial information out of somebody who's nuts. I mean, I went the skeptic route and I couldn't fit in with them. I didn't want to fit, 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 want to fit in with them. And I was disturbed with a lot of things that they were discussing. Well, it's... It's not much of a philosophy, I know. But well, fuck you. Fundamental to many people who are deeply involved in the alternative movement is the idea of some level of superiority. They believe they're informed. So we went on this journey to find out, to channel this information from the Akashic Records together, all right? So we are both, Sarah and I, experienced Akashic Records readers. We have worked with many different souls. We are both blueprinters, we're both blueprint deliverers, we both come from the parallel dimensions, we are both incarnated in many planets. So I feel that we are qualified to do this, and we did this, we planned this journey, we went there, we got this information. But in actuality, they have done practically nothing to inform themselves, other than believe things they've read online from dubious sources. The world went on, much as it had been going on, with a tentative tiptoeing alongside a precipice of crisis and all the other myriad problems, major and minor, that somehow had lost their incisive edge of horror because we were so familiar with them. 